Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, kid. Somebody popped your old man. Our hands are kind of tied. Gangsterland is directed by Timothy Woodward Jr. A rise and fall story inspired by true events set in Chicago during the 1920s Prohibition era. This is the story of how Jack McGurn, aka Machine Gun Jack McGurn, rose from amateur boxer to second in command of Al Capone's criminal empire. But that's not it. Gangsterland also works as a crude depiction of the gang wars that used to make all the headlines in the early 20th century. Right off the bat, you'll notice that this is a movie filled with great character actors, such as Jason Patrick, Peter Farinelli, Mark Ralston, Michael Paré, just to name a few. They totally elevate the status of the movie. In spite of not being a big-budget movie, there are definitely some interesting production values here. Nice production design, nice recreation of the era, competent photography. Being a period piece, you can tell the art department also did solid work here. Sean Farris's character, Jack McGurn, has the most interesting arc of them all. Rage puts him on a balanced path that offers no point of return. So we witness him going on a downward spiral scene after scene. McGurn's rise and fall story is pretty well balanced with the gang wars that were happening at the same time. There are multiple plot lines merging, but none of them overstay its welcome. I truly dig the shocking ending, even though it feels somehow abrupt. Gangsterland never shies away from depicting the violence of the time period in the most graphic way possible. You can even say it goes the extra mile in that department. Even without becoming a groundbreaking piece within the mob genre, Gangsterland manages to put together a decent greedy action drama about what happens when greed, corruption and violence collide during one of the most brutal times in modern America. So I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you guys as always for watching. You can catch Gangsterland on Amazon Prime Video. And if you do so, please feel free to return to this review and just drop a comment below. I will continue doing both English and Spanish reviews on my channel, so if you would like to subscribe, that would actually be awesome. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.